Is synthetic data really useful or is it harmful to the model? Here's what Leticia has to say, an expert in large language models and especially vision language models. She just recently graduated from her PhD with really great expertise on vision language models and synthetic data. So is it useful? Is it necessary? Or is it even harmful to these models? Synthetic data is this weird uh, paradox because on the one hand, it's a really good way to clean up your data sets. You can take an organic web page, so a page, a random messy web page that you can find on the internet and give it to an LLM and prompt it to turn it into a nice Wikipedia style or extract question and answers from it. And suddenly you have a really nice and well-structured document from that very messy web page. And in our work on Aleph Alpha German Web, where we synthesized a lot of German text and we released it on Hugging Face, it turns out that when we train 1B and 8B parameters models on this just synthetic data, we get better performance than training on just organic data. But on the other hand, synthetic data lacks a bit the diversity of organic data because uh, nothing beats the diversity and messiness of uh, the real world data and large models might benefit from it. And synthetic data is actually very great and the diversity is not too little if you train small models where you actually want to train on the best data and quality that you have. But for VLMs, for vision and language models, the story is a bit different. There, I would say synthetic data is a necessity because for vision and language models, training data are paired images and captions and they come from the internet where people were very lazy to actually write detailed descriptions of the image they just write a dog on a bench. So how should the model learn that there's a lot of detail in the image and in the caption to combine and focus on? So there for vision and language models, synthetic data augmentation is not just a nice to have, it's actually a must. 